everyone, this is Kodemic, and this is a video exploring the Internet Archive Wayback Machine. Now, if you've never heard of this before, it's this cool website hosted by the uh, Internet Archive at archive.org that lets you look at, um, our, well, exactly what it sounds like, archived web pages. Like, if you wanted to see what Google looks like in 1999, you can do that. If you want to see what the headline was at Yahoo on March 3rd, 2004, you can do that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just play around with it, see what sort of in like interesting stuff we can find. Uh, I did find something pretty cool when I was just playing around with it, trying to find some cool stuff to show you guys. So I guess I can show you how to get to it first off. Just type Wayback Machine into Google. That's all it is, and it's hosted by the Internet Archive again. And if you want to uh, read more about it, there's a Wikipedia page and whatever else. Um, so let's go ahead and click on the uh, Wayback Machine. And again, I'm just going to type in Google. You have to do the whole HTTP uh, jargon, and if you just type in Google, it won't do anything. So just copy and paste a web address and hit Browse History. And now we go back in time. Magic. Alright, so according to this chart, as you can see, the uh, more current date you get, the uh, more... Um, dates that have archives so the blue circles around what they have is actually what they have so if we want to go to february 3rd 2016 we can see what google was like on february 3rd 2016 and i imagine it looks a lot like it does now uh, it looks like the internet is being a little bit slow here or the archive is being a little slow so this is what google looked like on february 3rd 2016 Let's see how the Google logos changed. It's, if I had to guess, this is maybe 2012. Google's logo has gotten a few redesigns. Personally, this newest logo, I don't know if I'm a fan of or not. Uh, a lot of what software is going towards now is kind of the flat design. It started with uh, Joni Ive over at Apple uh, redoing iOS, and uh, that kind of evolved from the Windows Metro even. And now Google Android has done what they call the material design interface, so that's kind of why Google's flat. This logo I kind of like. It's kind of just a timeless 3D look. This is Google, let's see, July 31st, 2011, so you can kind of see how the logo changed. Uh, now let's go to that neat thing I was going to show you guys. If we go to 1999, so Google in 1999, this is pretty cool because it's, you know, right when Google was founded. And it still even shows beta on the website if it loads it up here. Uh, let's try February 8th. That seems as good of a day as any. So you can see any blue circle they have is the uh, information they have archived. And so now we're looking at Google. Like this is what you would have seen in 1999. And boy, has it changed. Oh my goodness. So you can still, I wonder if you can still enter your email and stuff here. Uh, why use Google? Uh, press about Google help. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite things is jobs at Google. So if you try using the uh, website, if I just hit test, nothing's going to happen because the Wayback Machine, they're uh, robots, I guess you could call them the bots that crawl the internet and save these snapshots, didn't actually save uh, a search of anything, but they did actually save this, jobs at Google. So Google back then was recruiting all these different things, vice president of engineering, software test engineer, system software engineer. Now personally, I would love to be the vice president of engineering at Google. It was just amazing. I couldn't even imagine. Well, I'm sure all these people are millionaires or billionaires now if you got on this early at Google. Uh, one of my other favorite reasons is favorite or uh, reasons to work at Google, free snacks and drinks. No, you don't have to pay me. As long as you give me food and drinks, I'll be just fine. So this is actually pretty cool, and it's talking about, so this is like the vice president of engineering. You need a PhD in computer science and 10 years of relevant experience. It's just kind of cool going back and seeing all this stuff they were recruiting for, and you, you know, you just kind of wonder whatever happened if, you know, when they fill these positions and uh, whatever became of these people. Uh, and if you, of course, if you go to Google's website now, it's so much cleaner, it's so much nicer, but it's just amazing at how things have changed in the past few uh, years here. I'll kind of zoom in just a little bit, make it a little bigger for you guys. 
Uh, let's see, special searches, Stanford search and Linux search. I'm not entirely sure what those do. Can I click on it? Hmm, it seems to be uh, kind of broken, but uh, let's see if we can find any other websites. What's another good one? Maybe yahoo.com, that sounds good. Yahoo's changed a lot over the years. It's kind of evolved into more of a news magazine, is what I would call it. There's lots of articles and things. Their website interface now, in my opinion, is kind of clunky, and the company's health isn't doing as well as it should be. So let's see. Yahoo in 2004. Hmm. This should be interesting. It looks like Yahoo's been archived a lot more compared to Google, too. And they have stuff going back to 1996. That's pretty amazing. Huh. I wonder why this circle is so big. I, oh, I see. So, the circle, the bigger the circle, the more snapshots they have. So it's like, of course, it's using military time and all that. So, uh, well, let's try 316. Yeah, that sounds good. On April 24th, 2004. I think this is when Yahoo had, yep, their red logo. I can actually kind of remember a Yahoo like this. Oh, the uh, crazy icons and stuff. It definitely looks like the early 2000s. So you can get a brand new 04 Ford Escape. Very cool. Yahoo Movies, now in theaters. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Kill Bill Volume 2. Oh, that's very neat. All this old advertising, too, in the marketplace. Janet Jackson, Coldplay, Radiohead. That's kind of bizarre. This is really cool. Also, powered by HP. I wonder what that's about. If they weren't uh, sponsored or what. More about Yahoo, get the domain name, all this other stuff. Sell online, web hosting. So Yahoo is in a lot of diverse markets. I love the uh, DSL dial-up stuff down here, too. Very cool. Web-enabled phones. Oh, the days before the smartphone. Because, of course, this was just about three and a half to four years before Apple was going to release the uh, iPhone in uh, September, I think, of 07. Sometime around then. I know it's 07, definitely. Uh, how about we go back to... Can we go back to 03? Of course, it's loading here. Oh my goodness, bookworm, all this other stuff. <laughs> North Korea, Lewis leading region towards war. I don't think a lot of these uh, headlines have changed too much. Cannes Film Festival, 2003, very cool. Deep Throat said to be White House lawyer. It's just so cool, just all this old, these old headlines. If anything, you could just go back and read about that. And I'm sure some of these pages or links are archived. Uh, let's try 1996. That should be pretty interesting. Oop. My bad. Uh, this looks good. October 17th, 1996. It looks like it's the oldest link they have. And my god. That looks like something up in the, uh, Atari 2600 or something. Oh my gosh. So, uh, you have to remember, back then, internet browsers weren't as capable, so you wouldn't have had a lot of images and stuff. So a lot of websites were just like this, just text links and HTML links, and, of course, they had their really basic logo. My goodness, that's just crazy. Yahoo Los Angeles? Are they still headquartered in Los Angeles, or are they even? Very cool. Uh, let's check out a few more websites, see if we can find anything cool. And of course, uh, feel free to donate to the Wayback Machine. It's all through a non-for-profit, so uh, any money helps them. Uh, anything else? Oh, okay, I guess this is just the Wayback Machine. Huh, what's another big website? Reddit? Let's see what Reddit looked like back then. Looks Doesn't look like there is much there. Let's just make the jump to 2005. It looks like there's more definition here. Then I'll just click on any one of these links. And Reddit looks more about the same than it used to. Um, let's see, lots of old links and stuff. Or It looks about exactly the same, to be honest. But that's not a bad thing. Reddit is kind of a timeless, simple site. Sorry about that, my recorder suddenly stopped working, but... This is what Reddit looks like. That's a lot of the old websites, but why don't you guys go ahead and just explore the Wayback Mas Machine, see if you guys can see uh, if you find anything neat, and just leave it in the comment section below. 
I'd also like to quickly address and uh, give a thanks to everyone, all the new subscribers. I stand at about 30 or 31 subscribers now. My Google Chromium OS tutorial really took off. It really helped my channel grow, and the video was just so much more successful and so it was just awesome all the traffic that got so i'd like to thank everyone i'd like to welcome all the new viewers to the channel and we're only having going up from here we're only having more fun so uh again thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like favorite and uh, leave any suggestions for future videos or if you want any other tutorials or more polaroid tours just let me know so this has been codemic and thanks for watching